is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below for you Aquarius in love eight of wands lovely that is a lot of fast paced communication back and forth you could be living at a distance from this person but that's a lot of online communication but that's also a lot of that's like a quick forward movement also okay with the four of swords and the eight of wands here so i feel that there's someone here who's probably taken a break or there's someone here who's you know like completely withdrawn themselves from you um uh, like you know like literally withdrawn retreated not opening up not taking action but with the eight of wands here this is someone who's definitely thinking about wanting to communicate with you okay or they're probably thinking about how they can approach you how they can come towards you let's see So what I'm seeing here is that I hope you guys can see the cards here. Okay. What I'm seeing here is that right now, uh, you have a lot of love for this person, okay, in the current situation here, but you're trying to stay um you have a lot of unconditional love, but you're trying to trust your intuition, you're trying to trust your guide about what you should do next, okay? I feel you're keeping to yourself right now. But uh, there could also be someone who's in love with you. All right. So take it how it resonates. But what is hindering the situation here is that ace of wands in reverse here, which means that there is this false start of your false start. Okay. The ace of wands in reverse is basically, you know, when something, there's this lack of action. In short, okay, this is lack of action. There's repeating the same backgrounds again and again. Nothing new is happening here, okay? Probably you love this person too much here and you're just very withdrawn right now, okay? And this person who's thinking about you is wanting to communicate with you. But right now, I feel you're apart and you're not talking to each other. And probably the biggest challenge out here is to have that, to take that action, okay? To make that move towards. It's like you have a lot of passion for this person. You want a lot of things, but you're not taking action, okay? You're waiting with the three of wands here on your mind here. So probably you're just manifesting this person. You probably even see your ships coming in. So you're just going to wait and watch but not doing anything about it. The reason for the reading or the root of the issue is that you're dealing with someone with the king of swords in reverse here. You're dealing with someone who's very cold, very icy, very detached. This is someone very, very emotionally manipulative. Someone who does not... Um, this is someone very intelligent, very smart. But either they... they this suck at communication or there is a lack of communication okay this could be someone who's pissed off because you cut them off okay so yeah someone who's very angry with you but this is definitely someone who's not using their logic right now they're making very irrational decisions okay someone who thinks they're doing the right thing they're being logical but actually they're just being too harsh with you very very shut off uh, in the past with three of cups in reverse here, so either there was this lack of reconciliation or there could have been a third party situation which was coming between you guys, doesn't have to be. But from the three in the near future, we go to the three of pentacles, which means that there is this collaboration here. But mind it, this person who wants to collaborate with you, who wants teamwork, who's wanting to uh, put in that commitment, wanting to put in that hard work and effort to work with you, let's build, let's talk kind of energy. This could also be someone who thinks you're out of the league. Okay, but definitely someone here, you know, who thinks it's a lot of hard work to build with you or to reach to that level of yours. Okay, so be careful. That could be one of the reasons why this person could be, you know, a little um, not on the same page with you. Because look, you're the queen of cups and we're de you're dealing with the king of swords in reverse here. They're not, that's not even in the upright. Even if it was in the upright, these are completely different suits. I mean, they're nowhere close. That's emotions. That's logic. Okay. So yeah, you're dealing with someone who's being very bitter right now. Although you have a lot of love for this person, but you're choosing to not want this false start. You just don't want false starts because there's been too many false starts between you guys. Okay. And now you're just waiting. Either you're wanting to explore your options or you're just waiting, okay, for this person to come and correct towards you. Because what you're doing right now with the Hierophant is you're trusting your inner guidance, okay. You're, tr you're learning your lessons. You're trusting your guidance and you want something traditional, okay. You probably even want commitment. You want marriage with this person. I wouldn't be surprised with the Queen of Cups here. 
but um, the person you're dealing with in your environment, this is someone who is wanting to message you, okay, with the page of cups, this person has that love for you, but see with the queen and page, you're right, there is a very big energetic difference out here, okay, so yeah, you could be dealing with someone very, very immature also, but someone who's just not on the same level of love that uh, you're wanting to offer. You're someone who offers unconditional love. This is a dreamer rather than a doer, okay? This is someone who has a lot of dreams, but also someone, you know, who's in that very puppy stage, okay? And you're wanting something very uh, committed, very stable with this person, which is a little difficult, looks like. For the Six of Swords in reverse here and your emotions, I think you've tried to move away from this person, but you just are finding it really hard. You're making things more difficult for yourself. It's like no matter how much you try to move on from this person, you know where what the right path is. You know what the correct path is. You know you need to make that movement forward, but you're just not being able to. Looks like you keep repeating a cycle again and again with this person. This person comes back to you and then again the same shit, you know, different day. You know what you want. You know what they have to offer, but you're just not being able to move on from this person because there's a lot of love here that you have for this person. Unconditional, if I may stress. They're coming in to work with you in the Three of Pentacles here. But again, um, that's also someone, you know, who's just trying to learn about you. They want to know more about you because in order for them to get at the same page or get in the same level with you, it's going to take some work. Okay. <coughs> it is. We have the hangman in reverse here as the likely outcome, which means there's someone who is either wanting to release themselves from a situation where they're stuck in for a very long time, or this is just someone who's having a hard time trying to see things from another person's point of view, which is more likely. All right, tell me, what is the eight of wands here? Can you guys see the cards? What is the eight of wands? What is the eight of wands? Ten of swords in reverse here. There's someone who's wanting recovery with you. There's been an ending here. Something ended very badly. Okay, you could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person. Like I said, you could have ended things with this person, okay? But you felt very cheated, backstabbed, betrayed, and now this person's rushing in. They want to communicate now and they want to recover this situation, okay? They're probably even stalking and spying, okay? But the Page of Swords doesn't really have too much to say. It's a page, right? They're just trying to get more information, trying to look at you from your social media, what you're up to, why are you ignoring them, do you have someone else on your mind, are you with someone else, are you single, something like that, okay? And you with the Queen of Cups, you're, you're, you're way above this bullshit, you know? You're like, I'm just going to trust my intuition. And uh, you see how that, that beautiful meditative energy that you are in, you know? Like, it is what it is, what is to come will come. And you're like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But you're definitely not on for fun without commitment. And you're not on for any more false starts. Tell me, what is the Ace of Wands in reverse? What is this Ace of Wands in reverse? Why is this? What is the Ace of Wands in reverse here? What is the Ace of Wands in reverse? Two of Wands, see, there's a false start because someone needs to make a choice. This is someone who leaves you hanging probably, you know, even if they go in the next step. You're, do, you're dealing with someone who probably looks for those electrifying experiences till it's there, it's there. But the moment it fades away and the moment they realize that it's getting into something stable, something, you know, like more committed or something that needs more of them, that's when they run for the hills, Okay. And this is probably like a decision that someone needs to make. And because they're not making a decision, there's a lack of action here. And you're probably waiting for this person to come in. Tell me what is the King of Swords in reverse here? What is the King of Swords in reverse? What is the King of Swords in reverse? Tell me what is the King of Swords in reverse? Why the King of Swords in reverse? Knight of Cups in reverse. You're dealing with someone emotionally absolutely unavailable. This person is in and out of your life, playing hot and cold. This person has trust issues or they're just not wanting to be vulnerable towards you. Okay. See, that, that's a lot of defense mechanism here. Okay. A lot of defense mechanism. The Knight of Cups in reverse is someone who basically most of the time they have nothing to offer. They have nothing. They only offer scraps. They offer leftovers. Or this is just someone who's just looking for one night stands. Doesn't have to be in your case, but this could also be just be someone who just does not want to be vulnerable. They don't want to open up. And with the King of Swords in reverse here, they try to show you, you know, that they're very cold attached. Maybe that's just how their approach is towards you. But 
within them they have that insecurity of not wanting to be vulnerable towards you and that could be the biggest issue of your relationship here see with the sun here this person knows you make them very very happy you make them very happy all right but probably this is someone you're dealing with who's gone through a bad relationship in the past and the past is haunting them. So <clears throat> the Knight of Cups is usually, you know, someone who, uh, if this person becomes uh, too emotional early, you know, on the early stages of uh, the relationship, right? The fire in him, it rushes him forward, you know, but sometimes he realizes that he made some hasty decisions or very impulsive move. And then from commitment, you know, he goes to non-commitment, you know, something like that. So he just realizes he can't follow through, okay? So he often confuses himself for lust with love. Yeah. So, yeah, this is definitely someone who's coming and going in your life. All right. And with the King of Swords in reverse, you could have cut them off. It doesn't have to be. But, yeah, definitely someone who's not communicating with you right now. Very manipulative, of course. But he does blow hot and cold deliberately to manipulate the situation, okay? Um, tell, me, uh, tell me about the Three of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles in the near future. What is this? Why the Three of Pentacles in the near future? Wow. Wow, three of pentacles with a four of wands. This person wants to build and want a long-term commitment with you. Wow. Wow. Nice. Wow. The four of wands, ace of pentacles, dude. This person wants something stable with you, but they're they're wanting to work towards you with this, to work on this commitment with you. Wow, looks like they're quite serious. Looks like your manifestations are coming through. Because we have Hierophant here. Uh, tell me more about the Page of Cups. What is this in the environment for Aquarius that they don't see coming? What is this Page of Cups in the environment for Aquarius that they don't see coming? Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, they're thinking of messaging you, but they're in their head with Eight of Swords here. This is a lot of fear, a lot of negativity that's stopping them from messaging you. So it's like Page of Cups, yes, they are, the pages are messengers, right? But then, again, it's a lot of dreamy sage, right? Like, oh, I dream of Aquarius. I wish I could message Aquarius. I wish I could be with Aquarius. I want a relationship with Aquarius. But what's stopping them is them, them they themselves. Okay? The Eight of Swords is the energy of being trapped in your own head. They're coming in their own way, Aquarius. They're coming in their own way. You're getting this in the near future here, but they're coming in their own way. Eight of Swords is self-imprisonment, okay? Creating a mind prison, okay? Feeling that your hands are tied and you can't do anything about it, but that's not really the case. You may have shut them off. You may have cut them off, okay? But um, that's what they assume that you have because there's been an ending here, but I mean, they don't know that you love them a lot and you're open to receiving. It's their fears that is taking over rather than their logic or rather than whatever they're thinking right now, it has nothing to do with reality. It's just their fears, probably fear of rejection, fear of not being able to uh, be with you on the same page or fear of whether you'll take them back or not, fear of anything. Okay, but that's fear-based. Um, tell me more about the Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me more about the Six of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. You can't move on. So I'm feeling that with the Six of Swords and Rivers and the Ten of Pentacles here. So there is this stability that you had with this person, okay? The Ten of Pentacles is a commitment card here, okay? Or there is just someone here who probably, you know, they know that in order for them to reach the Ten of Pentacles, they need to move forward. They need to cross a certain level of... Um, so someone knows that they, I mean, they're stuck on this commitment, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles is a very, um, it's, it's a very stable card, right? This is family. This is um, two people on the same page, you know? Look, 
the ten of pentacles does not have to be that you guys are married or you guys were in a long term or or you guys are in a commitment okay this can be as good as being in a long term commitment okay maybe there was just no label here but the energies were as good as a commitment okay that's why it's you're having a very hard time moving on from this okay because it was like we could have had it all then why not okay why didn't it work out okay because you're having a hard time moving ahead from this person you know you need to walk away you know you need to move forward but you're not being able to Probably with the Hierophant here, this is a very spiritual connection, you know. You feel a spiritual pull towards this person here. However, tell me what's the hangman in reverse here? What's the hangman in reverse? Ace of Swords. So there is someone here who's probably releasing themselves from a situation and there is going to be clarity about the situation, okay? The hangman in reverse is ready to... Um, come out of a situation that you've been very stuck and stagnant for a very long time so yeah there's definitely someone here who's coming out of that stuck mode and there is going to be clarity coming in so communication is coming in for sure to me it looks like there is something committed coming your way but it's just what they're doing right now they're stuck in their head so there's not much you can do about that right the eight of swords is no one can get them out of this it is in their intentions to move towards you and recover this entire break up you know get this relationship back from the brink of failure okay it is but it's up to them till they don't make a decision of taking that action towards you okay whilst you sit there pretty trusting your intuition and waiting for this person because this person is very bitter towards you right now okay they're very bitter towards you probably they think you're emotionally shut off but i feel this is this is the same person here the knight of the king of swords and it was the knight of cups in reverse here probably this person is also withdrawn from you okay this person probably even loves you a lot but it's just that they love themselves a little more let's just put it that way okay the knight of cups is the is the prince charming you know he's the charmer sweep you off your feet but in the reverse it's like yes there is love there okay but he loves himself more than you okay he's a little obsessed with himself so yeah but what I like is in the near future, you do have that four of wands here. This is a reunion, okay, of two people coming together on the same page. And the outcome with the hangman reverse and the ace of swords, it looks like there is a situation where you're going to be unstuck. And finally, there's someone who's kept things on hold here for a very long time. They're coming in towards you with the eight of wands, a lot of communication, coming in to recover this entire thing, okay. They, they want to uh, build again with you. They want to get the swords falling off. And uh, with Ace of Swords, you're, you're going to get clarity. Now, clarity does not mean um, something that you want to hear. Clarity is basically because there is so much of darkness around here. You want to throw light. There is going to be some kind of illumination. And the Ace of Swords is you will know what is going on or why this person went away or why this person was the way they are. Yeah. But that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.